short for Mobile Armor Strike Command. It's an animated television series produced by the French American Dick Enterprises Inc. and Gunner. The series was based on the masked action figures. It was animated in Asia by studios KK Dick Asia, later known as KK CD Asia, Studio Juno, Studio World, and Ashi Productions. All right, and now I bring to you my personal mask and venom collection. Hey, how's it going out there, guys? Um, today is going to be the first part to an ongoing series based off 80s toys. Nostalgic toys, toys that I grew up with um, from cartoons and whatnot that I watched as a kid. Let me go ahead and uh, show you uh, what I have in my mask collection here. First off, I have Thunderhawk. This is the leader. He is the guy in charge. This is Matt Tracker. Um, what's cool about this is it's a one, one button, button hit. Ah, normally, it's old. There we go, there we go. It's missing some pieces. Uh, it had little jets here that would come out. Um, one day I'd like to complete that. Uh, I don't know what ever happened to them. And then this part comes up, you can see the jets in the back. And then there's Matt Tracker inside there. And they wore these masks and everybody's mask is something different. Here's Manta. Manta is a Venom agent. Um, her car is pretty cool. Um, Hers is a flying vehicle just like this one. So it's got a couple buttons here. This one here, if I'm right, drops a, drops a bomb. But I think it has to be in flight mode. So hit this button. And you got the you got the wings out there. Flip the tires. You got the front wings. That and the jets come out. And it does one more thing here. Pretty sure this front pulls out. I don't really tell you much uh, when you first get there. We go. Front comes out. Got your missiles, your gun, um, and this seat down here. This comes out. That's what it is. There you go. So like if she was carrying a passenger that she didn't want in there, she'd fly and then drop them out. All right. This one's Raven. Another another sports car. Uh, tires fold in. Little gun turrets turrets come out come out of the tire. Same thing here, these go underneath, they've got turrets for the underside. And then there's, again, this one's got jets as well. And here's Stinger. This one's a pretty cool car. I don't have all the pieces to it, I'm missing some. I got the driver, uh, he's a bad guy, <coughs> part of Venom. And this had a chain in here, and I believe it had a hook or something on the end. Uh, I don't know whatever happened to that. And his is kind of cool. His is pretty easy to transform. You just pull it, literally the whole thing transforms. You got your cover there. You got the tank treads on the side. Again, these tires have little turrets that come up like the other tires. Um, yeah, so that's that's that. This one's fairly easy to transform. Just one pull, done. Just put it back together. Pull it, tuck it like that, done. Here is my favorite uh, mask vehicle. This is Hurricane. Um, always wanted this car. I always thought the 50 Chevys were really nice looking cars. And this this was a pretty cool car in the uh, cartoon. This is one of the earlier line, uh, from, from all these that came out, this came out uh, um, within the first uh, year that they started making these. So first things first, pop this open. You got the little tank-like gun there. Twist the top, now it's got added two more wheels to it uh, it's got guns that come out here pull this up here like laser scope thing I don't remember what that does and I'm missing a tire uh, the tire would spin off and have blades and everything and then there's uh, another blade right there and I do have the guy he's he's inside of here right there that's yeah, so the hurricane was my uh, my favorite he's probably probably my favorite toy of the uh, from this toy line Right, here's Jackhammer. This guy was consistently in the cartoon. He was uh, one of the right-hand men men to uh, to Mayhem. So you see this and you see this vehicle in almost every episode. Uh, his vehicle is pretty cool. Tailgate got that. It's got a little turret that comes out that he would sit in. Uh, pull this up. Turns into like a shield. A little sight hole there, and there's guns there. So when you're wheeling it down, you can see it. Guns, the turrets would uh, rotate there. So 
so yeah, this was uh, nearly every episode you'd see you'd see this guy. All right, and here's Piranha. This is another guy you'd see. This guy had the uh, Jack Nicholson voice in the cartoon. So if you get a chance to watch that, uh, <laughs> check it out. It was kind of it was laughable. But uh, he had the motorcycle, and he had this little pod here. It would shoot out. It was made to go underwater. Had the guns, the little fins would come out. All right, and there he is. He's he's inside of here. There he is. Yeah. This is Firefly. And I remember uh, my buddy used to have this one uh, in when I was in second grade, and I ended up getting it after that because I thought it was so cool. This trigger opens it. Pop this out. There's his front wings, and that's pretty much it. He was fairly simple. He does have a, a bomb uh, that comes out. Yeah, that's right there. I still have it. <laughs> you can see it. All right, and this is Gator. Um, pretty sure I'm missing the tire or a bomb or something that uh, went in the back here. We've got the little gun that just pops over. And this one was cool. This one was a Jeep that had a boat inside. Okay, so there it is, open. <coughs> it didn't always work right. <coughs> it would always catch him. But <coughs> there's him. Uh, here's the boat, and it would just shoot out. Um, so it's, not the, it's all spring-loaded. It's not just to shoot out into the water or wherever you're playing with it. But yeah, get that back in. There we go. All right, here's Detonator, VW Bug. This one's kind of cool. Um, this one actually completely comes apart. It's uh, two separate vehicles. So this comes out there, and then this turn, <coughs> you, you just squeeze this together, and then it's a motorcycle. Came with a hologram of the original figure, which is all like a clear purple, and you put him on this motorcycle, and he'd take off on this one here, push up down on this, and this opens, and this one turns into a hovercraft. And it's got the main guy in it, and it's got two missiles. Right. This one here is Iguana. All right, this opens. I am missing the saw. The saw goes on this. There's guns here. Yeah, this would, this would go like this. So that's that one. All right here's Bullet motorcycle. This thing's always falling off. It's not meant to really stay on very well. I don't know why it falls off all the time. But this one here turns into a hovercraft. I remember how to do it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Pretty easy. You can see it's got the hover on it. All right, so there's Bullet. All right, here's Condor. Condor's in a ton of episodes. Uh, he's he's one of the mask agents. He's a good guy. You see him quite uh, quite a bit in the show. Um, but he got a little got a little motorcycle here. This one here it doesn't have any buttons. You just move things. Um, Pop that up and turn it into a helicopter. So this is one of the cheaper toys uh, when I was a kid. Uh, again, with, with these, with these mass vehicles, some of them are really expensive. You see here, here's an ad. Um, you see some of those are like 30 bucks. And that's back in 85, 86, 87. Uh, $30 um, would go a lot farther than $30 would today. All right, here's Wildcat. Um, missing a couple pieces on this. I'm missing one of these here. Um, I think I'm missing a tire. He's a tow truck, so I'm pretty sure there was a towing mechanism there that I don't have anymore. And he sh it would shoot discs too, and I don't have the discs. Um, this one's got a couple. Yeah, I think he shot the discs with that. But yeah, at least this one has a pretty good transformation. There you go. So yeah, it would shrink up. Yeah, then you'd have the discs so you could, you could shoot the discs. Um, I'm pretty sure that was spring-loaded. Doesn't look like it has a spring in it anymore. Yeah, but there's the guns. He would just sit in there. And, he would, and you could always tell if they were a mask, part of mask, because it would say mask on the vehicle somewhere. Uh, after it was transformed, you'd see it. All right, here's Firecracker. Uh, this one's, I think it's complete. Uh, I'm not 100% positive. I do have the little tire here that... Uh, pop out here. I don't know if it, how well the mechanism works anymore. But yeah, it's got a little tire that the little blaze would come out of. And this one here had a pretty good transformation too. Where's the... I see a switch there. Boom, there we go. But, not, but it's got guns on the top. 
Uh, it had the tire. It's got guns down here, right above the tire that uh, you can see once it's up. And again, there's where it says mask right there. That's how you can tell it's a good guy. All right here's Slingshot. Very 80s style Astro bus looking van here. Uh, Cruising 1986. Yeah, so that's a little old. So this guy here would open. You can see there. And it had this little ship that would come out. And there's a button here for that. I can find it. There we go. So there's the ship. A little missile come out. And a lot of times on these old mass vehicles, it was the missiles and stuff that always would always get lost. So I'm fortunate to have a few of these missiles left. And this one here, this one here would turn into like a little gun turret here. Like a little mobile base with guns. Let's see, there's more guns right there. All right, here's Bulldog. Uh, there were quite a few rigs in the show, you know, rigs are big, so having a transforming rig was really cool. So in here, flip it over, tank tires, or tank treads. There we go. And then it would flip backwards. This one had a little missile. I don't have the missile on that anymore, unfortunately. You got the little chainsaw here, looking thing. That's <laughs> good to see in the cartoon, this thing just chopping through people. But uh, yeah, there's the armored window there and some more guns. Uh, and these things go down guns as well. So they always had their, their big rigs. All right, this one's Goliath, uh, another one of the rigs out of the series. This one belonged to Matt Tracker. This was another vehicle he got later in the series, um, you know, besides Thunderhawk. And this here, Hit this button and it flies. Uh, missing a piece. Uh, looks like I'm missing the back wing on that. So maybe one day I'll I'll find it. I'll pick I'll pick it up. And if you can see there, some guns came out. Uh, but that's pretty much it with this one. One cool feature it had uh, with the actual rig is it would sit on there, and if you just pulled it out. It would just launch itself. It has this little trigger here that triggers a mechanism uh, inside rather really than on top. All right, and as far as the rig goes, this here turns into a gun, like a turret. Um, supposed to have missiles. I uh, don't know where the missiles are. I actually got this from a friend, uh, I want to say in the late, mid to late 90s. <coughs> a good friend of mine. Uh, he was really big into mask, and a couple of these vehicles I, I, picked, from, I picked up from him back then. So this here, you turn this and it activates this. And this part comes down and I've had this problem before. Matt Tracker's head gets stuck. Well, anyways, without me uh, breaking it or anything. And here's a little gun that comes out. Another gun comes out there, you know, guns everywhere. But yeah, so there is Goliath. Almost complete. Uh, if I can track down some missiles in the back portion of this, uh, I believe it will be complete. Because I have both the uh, guys that came with it, and uh, yeah, so move on. All right, and this is Rhino. Uh, he's one of the mask agents. Uh, this is one of the vehicles you'll see in almost every episode. Most known throughout the uh, mask cartoon, and anybody who knows mask, this is uh, probably one of the vehicles you would think of. So we've got a couple buttons here. Oh, well that one just shot him out the side. <laughs> so this would launch people out. I don't remember if it was in case the bad guy got in, you can launch him out or or what exactly it was used for. All right, we got this one here. Sometimes I wish I had one of these in front of my car for the people who like to stop in front of me or cut me off. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. And then we got this little guy back here. This comes off. There we go. Takes two of the wheels and it's supposed to have a cover. Uh, don't have the cover anymore apparently. And it just, you know, while this could sit idle and be like a, a little war base, uh, this opens up here. You got your missile launcher in there. This opens. 
the ladder comes down. The missile's in there, but the missile likes to just launch whenever it wants sometimes. <laughs> in this case, it tries to launch. Yeah, it's very touchy because it's old. All right, so that's Rhino. Uh, one of my favorite vehicles as well. Right, here's Switchblade. This is actually the leader of Venom. There's Mayhem right there. I don't have Mayhem's helmet, uh, his mask. I need to find that. Or, you know, try to go online try to find one. Um, make this more complete. So it starts off as a helicopter. It actually has a little switch here. You can make the blades rotate. It transforms into a jet, so you just fold that back. This one takes a little bit more time to transform. Put that down right there. This comes up. Bang! Their wings come out. No guns come out of here. Boom. Now you got it. it. Turns into a jet. And these little guns pop out too. All right. I know this has been a long video. I, I have a lot of mask stuff, but uh, just got more things to show you. First off, here's just some random figures. I put them in these little Star Wars GI Joe individual holders. Got a couple in there. These are extra guys that I have. Got a couple more here. Got an extra mayhem. All these, a couple different mat trackers. Uh, one for the original, for his original car. And uh, don't know where the other two uh, go to. Um, not off the top of my head, anyways. And then I have some T-Bobs. So T-Bob is in every episode, pretty much. He is mat tracker's son, Scott, his little robotic buddy. And he turns into a little scooter for Scott to ride around on. And I have two of them for some reason. I don't have Scott though. I need to get Scott. All right, so we're at the end. This is my last mask vehicle. This is Volcano. This one's pretty cool because it's battery operated. Um, kind of runs around like a stomper. Uh, for you, for those of you that don't know what a stomper is, uh, I'll be having a video at some point uh, showcasing the different stompers I have. Um, but they were just battery controlled uh, vehicles that could literally just, you know, you put them outside and play with them and they would just roll over all the rocks and everything like that. But uh, yeah, let me show you uh, what this guy does. It's got a little trigger here. Pops up. You got your little guy with the gunner there. Um, my guy's actually right there. So I don't know if this comes with two people or not. I mean, it's got an extra seat. Uh, maybe it does. I'll have to look into that. But uh, what's cool is when uh, you turn it on and it's going, I don't have any batteries in it right now, um, it'll just drive around, but at the same time, this this will go, you know, if it's, if it's in this mode, this thing will turn with it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is one of the more expensive ones, as you saw in the ad earlier. I believe this one was in the ad. This was 30 bucks back then. Um, so you can imagine what markup would have been today if you were to buy this toy. Uh, but yeah, this is one of my more favorite uh, vehicles. It's just it's just big, just like a monster van. It's cool looking, um, and it's battery uh, operated, which is which is cool. Uh, I don't know if it's the only battery operated mass vehicle, but it's the only battery operated one that I own. And I, I know there's at least another dozen mass vehicles out there that I don't own. Uh, some of them were really rare, and uh, some of them not as rare. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you liked any of the insights I put on the vehicles and uh, the toys. Uh, if you have any comments on that, leave that down below for me. If there's any particular toy line you'd like to see, um, put that in the comments as well. I'd like to showcase stuff that I actually own. I don't have everything from the 80s. Uh, there are specific things that I grew up with that I have that I really liked. Uh, for instance, I love Transformers. I have a bunch of Transformers somewhere. I don't know where they're at. They're in a box. I don't know what happened to that box. I haven't seen it in years. Uh, I'm hoping it's just packed in the garage, uh, but I've gone through a ton of boxes. I still can't find it. So uh, hopefully they didn't get stolen from me from past roommates that I had, uh, you know, way, way back when. So hopefully they're still intact somewhere. And if I find them, I'll do a video on it. But, uh, but that's about it, guys. Thank you for uh, watching this. I'm sorry it was so long, but I had a lot of mass vehicles, and I kind of want to show you what everyone did. It as far as uh, their transformation goes. So thanks again for watching and game on.
Mask is the mask. 